Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, January 15th. How the heck did that happen? January 15th already. Ah, cold day here in southeastern Pennsylvania in the uh, high 20s when I when I got up this morning. And uh, But the dogs don't seem to mind. and We'll be talking about them a bit more. I have my J. Mouton billiard. Very, very well executed billiard from Jason. And I am smoking something uh, special today, and I'll tell you more about that. This is a blend from Cloud Bear Custom Blend. You're not going to be able to see that likely, but it's called Hoor Monks. And I'll, I'm going to talk about the blend and all sorts of stuff. So. But first, uh, let's get the dog out of the way. So, you know those bumpers that I put at the front of the, uh, the video? I make those before I actually start talking. And I have to think a bit about you know, what I'm going to be talking about. I don't map out these Sunday chats, weekend chats. I, I, I have an idea, and, but this is therapy for me, so I don't like storyboard it and stuff. I know what I'm going to say at the beginning. I know what I'm going to say at the end. And I have a rough idea of what's going to be in the middle somewhere. And uh, I make those bumper images ahead of time because I use OBS and that lets me uh, not have to do any editing after I'm done. Although sometimes I do have to do some editing, like the furnace will come on or uh, sometimes the audio is out of sync and I don't understand it. It's one of the mysteries of, of OBS. Uh, the other thing that will happen sometimes uh, is that OBS will just do weird stuff and if you watched my live stream on Friday it inserted an image of a chisel right around there uh, <laughs> I could not get rid of it I spent about 10 minutes prior to the the show starting and of course I have to start it on time so I I, I could not figure out where this this chisel image came from and I actually eventually figured it out I had the image open in the background because I was working on a, a blog post on chisels and uh, I don't know why it's inserted I think it's got something to do with the auction that I did a, a few weeks back because I, I was showing images of what was being auctioned off but I cannot for the life of me figure out why it's inserting whatever image is open in the image viewer so it's kind of a neat feature if I ever want to show you something but at the same time, it was very annoying that I couldn't get rid of it. It was just this floating chisel. Well, it was floating over here. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a mystery. Uh, wonderful piece of software, though. Uh, relatively easy to get running. Uh, it's got a learning curve, but it's not too bad. And boy, it can do everything. So, wonderful piece of software. And it's free. So, anyway, I write these bumpers beforehand and I knew I wanted to talk about my dog Thatcher so that's why there's the dog in there and so it's four monks and a dog so four monks is the tobacco I will talk about that some more but uh, the reason I put and a dog in there is Thatcher my my uh, wonderful uh, mix of uh, coonhound and golden retriever uh, you see Thatcher in the in my uh, thumbnails for the live streams uh he's she's in my avatar with the beer uh beer bottle in her mouth uh avatar is that what they call those things the, the little you know the little image that you see when you look at my channel or when i leave a comment that that little thing i don't know what the kids call things today anyway thatcher who's uh now i believe nine years old uh 60 pounds or so not a small dog. Thatcher has decided that she's a lap dog. And she's very good about it. She comes up and she'll like put her paw on my knee and I'll look down at her and she'll get all excited and she'll start pawing me rapidly. And if I invite her to jump up, she will very happily jump up, lay across my lap and I, I pet her for a while. And eventually she gets tired of this and, and she'll get down and go off and do, as I like to call it, that's your nonsense. So I'm getting ready to, to come down this morning and, and do this. And I'm sitting in the chair. 
And by the way, I'm wearing one of my scruffy old oversized t-shirts that I just love and they're comfortable and my wife isn't awake yet so I'm wearing it until she yells at me. And thankfully she doesn't watch these videos because she would yell at me for wearing it. But Thatcher decides that she's going to be a lap dog like minutes before I'm about to come down and I can't, I can't say no. You know, she gets so excited. And, so I got that, and, and this time she decides she's not just going to go straight into the lap, but she's going to crawl up, put a paw on either side, and lick my face. Okay. So I'm petting her up here, and then she lays down, I'm petting her here, and all that. That's your shitting. So, <laughs> I don't know if I'm covered with the uh, Coonhound Golden Retriever hair right now, but uh, if I am, my wife's really going to kill me if she ever sees this, <laughs> and I apologize. So that's the, the dog story. I, boy, I love both my dogs, Thatcher and Isabel, but Thatcher is, uh, she's the smart one. She's the, the, the loyal one. She's the well-behaved one. Um, if they're barking at something outside and I say, hey, be good, Thatcher runs to my side. Um, if I have the door open, you know, if I'm just leaning out saying, hey, be good, she runs in the house. She removes herself from trouble. Uh, Isabel? is a stubborn son of a gun. And uh, she, she has what I like to call selective deafness. I, I, I actually thought she might be losing her hearing, but no, she can hear if, if you know, I pick up a plastic wrapped snack of some sort. She can be on the other side of the house and she'll come running to see if there's food for her. But, uh, you, you yell as loud as you can, Isabel, be good. And she just sits there and puts her head up in the air like, hmm, did I hear something? No, I don't think so. And then start barking again. Uh, she's good when there's not distractions, but if she's got something else that she's interested in, she doesn't give a darn. Thatcher, on the other hand, really well-behaved dog. And uh, I love them both to death. They make, they make life so much better. And, you know, that's the wonderful thing about a pet uh, just always they're always there it always surprises me if I kennel them like we'll go on a, on a visit to Pittsburgh so we'll kennel them and when we come back uh, we have to pick them up the next day that night the house just seems so empty and most of the time they're just laying around sleeping you know it's not like they're they're always around you know but they, there's just something different about the feel of the house you know and, uh, as i'm as i'm talking about this and, and happily discussing how wonderful it is to have pets i'm reminded that our friend phil rivera just lost his uh beloved cat princess and uh you know anytime somebody loses a pet it's so hard and uh you know my heart goes out to him and Keep filling your thoughts and prayers. Uh, he put up a beautiful memorial video for the cat uh, on his YouTube channel. I'll link below if you if you want to see it, and you know, of course subscribe to Phil because he's he's one of the best guys in in the YouTube pipe community and on Instagram as well. So four monks from Cloud Bear. Uh, Cloud Bear custom blends. Uh, he is on Instagram. Sorry kicked my furnace turning off stick. I have to keep it propped up to remind me to turn the furnace back on. I'd trip over it if I didn't. Uh, you, you learn these things as you get older and your mind starts to go. Cloud Bear Custom Lens. He's on Instagram. Uh, he shows up on YouTube. I don't think he has a YouTube channel, but he, uh, he, he does comment and he comes to some live streams and such. But great guy uh, and a wonderful wonderful blender he he does uh everything from whole leaf all the steps done by him personally small batch uh, he only makes about a pound at a time and when it's ready he goes on instagram and says this is available and if you're not right on top of it you're not going to get it he doesn't say that i added the last part And um, this Four Monks, I, I believe it's his take on uh, Three Friars, uh, which I believe is also 
I think Cornell and Deal did four friars or so. I, I don't know. I, I'm getting confused. Maybe Cornell and Deal is three friars. I should have looked it up. But anyway, um, it is. This is an extremely good early Red Virginia uh, dark barred Kentucky blend, and I talked to him a bit about it, um, and what he. What he does is, and he really puts a lot of care into this. So first off, he steams the Virginia, mixes it. I hope I got the steps right here. He mixes it with the dark, uh, mixes it with dark burley, presses it, leaves it pressed for a while, and then once it's pressed and you know everything's melted, he takes that cake, rubs it out, and then he adds the dark fired Kentucky to it, and. I tell you, that care really shines through in this blend. Virginias are, are deep, sweet. Um, the burley really shines through. Really nice, dark burley. Uh, very woody. And then that dark fire at Kentucky is adding those, you know, I don't actually know how to describe dark fired Kentucky, but if you've had it, you know what it tastes like. Um, when I first lit it up, I was trying to place, I didn't know what was in it. I just tried it and I was trying to place there was something unique about it. I don't normally smoke dark fired Kentucky. So, um, I like some blends with it, uh, like um, Three Nuns, for example, but I don't like things like Old Dark Fire. It's just overdone on those blends. So when I first lit it up, I think it was a combination of the Dark Fired and that Dark Burley, which has that woody edge to it. I couldn't place it, and my wife was sitting there as I was, as I was smoking the pipe and she said, that smells like you're smoking a cigar. And it just clicked. I said, of course it's cigar leaf. And I excitedly went on Instagram and got in touch with Cloud Bear. And I said, I know what's in this. And he went, no, there's no cigar leaf in there. <laughs> and then he spilled the beans that it's dark fire Kentucky. So yeah, I, I think, I think it was that combination of the dark fire and the, and the dark burly, but oh, it's good. It's really good stuff. And I wish I could tell you, tell you to go get some, but you know, like I said, he he makes a blend and it it's available and then it's not available anymore. I have another blend upstairs uh, that I haven't tried yet from him. That's called uh, Haunted Forest, and it's his take on Haunted Bookshop, and I'm really looking forward to trying that. And I'll certainly let you guys know about it when I do. But check out Cloud Bear Custom Blends. He's a heck of a good guy, and uh, he's a very talented blender. I'll put a link to his Instagram account down below. Um, and, yeah. So, what else is going on here? I've been doing a lot of work in the shop. Uh, got back finally to working on that set of drawers that I'm making for sharpening and sanding supplies. And uh, I'm working now on drawer dividers. I was originally just going to put, and, and drawer, by drawer dividers, I mean the things that go between the drawers. I was originally just going to do runners, but the more I thought about it, I'm probably going to have some heavy stuff in some of these, and I want them to be, I want this to be a solid case, piece of case work. So having those drawer dividers going completely across is going to add rigidity to the to the full case. So yeah, I'm making four. Um, drawer dividers and they're just you know rectangular uh, four pieces put together in a rectangle using mortise and tendon joinery uh, so working on those making them out of poplar the, the case itself is made out of pine um, yeah I'll show you some pictures later not today but <laughs> once I start getting things more more together so I'm working on that um, I did a blog post the other day. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to to check it out, it might be worthwhile. Uh, let me see if I can share this with you. Yeah, so 
I did this blog post on making a set of French wheels. If you don't know, French wheels are uh, used in pipe making uh, to sand the pipe, uh, do a little bit of shaping. They're not very aggressive, so you can't like shape them. Well, I guess you could shape a raw block of briar down, but it's not the best tool for that. But they're great for getting into curves and such. And I made a set of them a few months back, actually, and kind of uh, cataloged the process as it was going along and put together a, a blog post on that. So that is available uh, if, you're, if you're interested in seeing it. It's got a lot of attention. This was a, one of my most viewed blog posts, which I'm, my blog posts don't get a lot of views. And, you know, I'd write more, but I get so little interaction on the blog that I... I don't know that you, you put all this work into it and you put it up there and a lot of people look at it but nobody comments and um, it's a different world so with no feedback it's hard to get motivated to do the next one but I am working on one on chisels that's why there was a picture of a chisel floating above me on Friday and uh, we'll see how that goes if you're interested in the blog you can go to my webpage uh, canerodpipes.com and there's a link there or I'm trying something new, and I'll put a link to this down below. There's something called Linktree that organizes multiple links for you. Uh, and on that, I think I've got my YouTube channel, my blog, and maybe the website. But I should probably put Instagram accounts in there. You, you put ev everything in it, or you can put anything in it, actually. And then folks just have one place to go for your links, which is kind of nice. So I'll put a link to my Linktree link three page I don't know I'll put a link to that below too so you'll get Phil Rivera Cloud Bear and my links I say that to remind myself so with that folks I'm gonna relight this again because it's going out and it's delicious um, I'm going to get on with Sunday, shop mortise and tenons. I think the wife wants to go shopping. Tomorrow is a holiday here in the U.S., um, so I don't have to go to work. I hope uh, some of you, many of you, are going to also enjoy a long weekend. I took off Friday, so it's an extra long weekend for me. So enjoy your Sunday. If you got off on Monday, enjoy that too, and have a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. Mm -hmm.